Hey, what's up, Hard Life fans? Yes, this is a blue crab in pantyhose at Area 54. And yeah, um, to our new subscribers, we invite you to go back through our videos to watch these peers that we're putting in our videos. And the reason we're doing it like this is because we're trying to boost the amount of views we get on our videos, but at the same time, move on with the newer knowledge that we have coming out with each video. Obviously, backtracking and repeating ourselves for each video is not going to help us grow. But we do want to also promote and encourage the guys that have been watching the channel that they will watch something new every video. And that's our whole intent is to grow a base of knowledge and understanding that way everyone that watches the channel knows we are growing together. And please don't feel intimidated by posting a comment it doesn't matter what level of fishing you are we are all learning something new and even for me i am learning something new every day with these videos and it's pretty awesome because i'm sitting there going through these videos and watching them and man something will fly by on the, vi the screen so i take the time to cut it out edit it to find out what's really going on because like i said sometimes something happens in a blink of an eye and lucky for me, the camera was recording, so I'm able to go back and get it done so we can see what's going on. But I'm sharing the knowledge with y'all, and I'm truly, truly grateful for everybody's input at watching the channel and keeping it nice and sharing knowledge from all over the world. We got people all over the world watching our channel, so thank you very much, and we'll keep doing what we do. So this one is the underwater camera. And going through the video, I saw a lot of times when some big fish would come in the camera and stuff like that. So, you know, yeah, it's got this green haze to it. Oop, there, that was another one right there. So let me get back to getting on this, but I'll come back and touch on the green haze here in just a bit. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Alright guys, so in this video you'll see like right there, a fish swam in and out of the screen. I'm not going to cut on those and slow it down if we can't really get a good image of what it is because I did try it and I just felt it wasn't enough for us to make a good judgment call. But it does tell y'all a fish came by the camera. So we'll keep going through and seeing what I can find and what I can pull out to help us grow. Like I said, this is knowledge and everything that's happening whether it's good or bad is teaching us something to grow on and like i said fishing is a very very expensive sport and you know we're gonna make a lot of mistakes but the good thing is by working together hopefully you know by us making these, these mistakes will keep y'all from making them and costing y'all money so here we go All right, here's another one. See how quickly it came in? Yeah, so let's slow it down a little bit and see what we can see on there. Looks like a big old gaff top. That thing is monster, holy smokes. And yep, but I gotta slow it down and retrace the video to get it to allow us to see what's going on. I mean, it's happening so quick. That and the glare of that light, I wonder why it's doing that, so. Definitely gonna get with go fish cameras to find out what's going on. Look, it's back too. So we'll definitely be looking at what's going on on this. And you know, like I said, I'm gonna kind of fast forward through the part portions. I don't see anything and or 
anything that I can really use to help us understand what's going on down there. All right, so this big old chunk of crab keeps getting, there's a lot of fish on it. There's a big gaff top. There's some drum around there. I just haven't gotten a real clear picture of it coming up close enough to see it, but you can see the small barbels and stuff like that. And you know, it's protected in that pantyhose. So this is also going to prove why we use the pantyhose on our bait. A lot of the guys that are new to the channel that haven't seen us use it, this is exactly the reason why we use it is because perched out, drummed out, everything by making the bait a bit more protected and still allows it to give off the scent because the current coming through the, the pantyhose or around the pantyhose will still get the juices out there. And as you saw in prior videos too, when we have put out the baits like this, the uh, juices are still coming out or seeping out the sides of the pantyhose so it doesn't deter us from getting any hits and as y'all also saw in prior videos when we are catching drums you know left and right while still using the pantyhose and still have a bait left over to re put it back out to where we've done two or three drum off of one bait so this is a very important tactic for y'all to remember and use you know that the pantyhose can do that for you <clears throat> as well as ensure that you know if there's not a lot of bait that you can make your bait last a lot longer and catch more fish with it so it's another money saving idea you know to use and stuff like that normally we go to the dollar general or the uh walmarts and stuff like that and you know they'll normally have them you know 50 cents a pair or a dollar for like two two or three sets and stuff like that and since they stretch out, you can get multiple baits off of one box. And I'm telling you, their fish are all over this bait. Oh, look at that big old cat. Was that a catfish? I think it was. Gaff top? One of the two. But I know y'all are more interested in the major fish, so I'm not going to keep rewinding on those. But yes, they are here. They are coming up to the camera. So this is pretty interesting.
I don't know what's going on, but those are some big fish coming in and out of camera. And I believe the light is reflecting off the bait that we have on bottom. I might have to move it further away.